All right, so here we have an identity where we have to prove that the left side is the same as the right side. So we'll typically start on the more complicated side, which in this case is the left-hand side. And so I'm just gonna rewrite it. Now, the first thing to identify is the two double angle, double angles over there. And so we need to use our formula sheet. And so sin 2x is a really nice one because it can only change into one thing. However, cos 2x, there are three different options, but I can assure you that you never have to guess. What you need to do is realize that cos 2x is at the top. Now the top part, the answer is eventually going to have sin x plus 1. So there's only going to be a sin. And so all that you do is you choose the option that gives us sin only. And so that's the one that we are going to use. It's as easy as that. And so we say sin x minus, then the golden rule to remember is always do that in a bracket. So we're going to change it to 1 minus 2 sin squared x. Then at the bottom, we can change that sin 2x to 2 sin x cos x, like that. Next step, just simplify. And then our next step is factorize. But now, guys, that doesn't always mean common factor. Factorizing could mean trinomials, difference of squares, all sorts of stuff. Most common, though, is a is a common factor. But in this case, at the top, it's not. At the top, we actually have a trinomial because we have a square, a normal number, and then an x, okay? So I'm gonna rewrite that so that the trinomial is in the normal order. Now, if you had to factorize the top, it's a trinomial, and so that's gonna give us two sin x minus one, and sin x plus one. At the bottom, you could take out a common factor of cos x, and then you'd be left with two sin x minus one, and those are gonna then cancel and so we're going to be left with sin x plus 1 over cos x. And therefore, the left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side.